Why don't snakes need to wear glasses because they have perfect 2020th Hisian? Welcome to our fun-filled exploration of the world of pythons. Now you might be wondering, what exactly is a python? Well, pythons are a type of non-venomous snake found all over the world. They're known for their impressive size. Some can grow up to 25 feet long. That's longer than a pickup truck. Imagine seeing a snake as long as that. But don't worry, most pythons aren't quite that big. And despite their size, they're surprisingly good at hiding. These slithery superstars are masters of camouflage, blending into their surroundings to catch their prey by surprise. And did you know that pythons are one of the largest snakes on the planet? Yes indeed! So are you ready to slither into the fascinating world of pythons? Let's go! Did you know that there are more than 40 species of pythons? That's a lot of slithering friends! Now let's take a journey through the world of pythons and get to know some of these fascinating creatures a little better. First up we have the famous Burmese python. These guys are one of the largest species of snakes in the world. They're known for their beautiful patterned skin but don't let their beauty fool you. They're powerful constrictors. Next, we have the ball python, also known as the royal python. These snakes are quite the celebrities in the pet world. They're called ball pythons because when they're scared or stressed, they curl up into a tight ball, tucking their head inside their coils. Now isn't that a cute defense mechanism? Then. There's the olive python, one of Australia's largest snakes. Despite their name, they're not always olive-colored. They can range from a dark, almost black color to a lighter, more olive-like hue. Their smooth, glossy scales give them a distinctive, almost polished look. Next on our list is the carpet python. These snakes are known for their beautiful carpet-like patterns. They're quite the climbers and love to hang out in trees. They can be found in a variety of colors and patterns, each one more beautiful than the last. Last but definitely not least, we have the reticulated python. These guys hold the record for being the longest snake in the world. They can grow up to a whopping 25 to 30 feet long. That's longer than most cars. These are just a few examples of the many diverse species of pythons out there. Each one has its own unique features and behaviors just like us humans. Some are big, some are small, some like to climb, and others prefer to stay on the ground. Some are dark, and some are light. Each python species is unique, just like you and me. Isn't that super? Imagine living in a tree, underground, or in the water. For pythons, these are all places they might call home. Pythons are quite the globe trotters, with their habitats stretching across three continents, Africa, Asia, and Australia. But you won't find them slithering around in America or Europe. They prefer warmer climates, so no snowy snake sightings, I'm afraid. Let's begin our journey in the dense, lush forests where some pythons dwell. They love the cover of trees, making them excellent climbers. Just imagine a python coiled up in a tree waiting patiently for a tasty morsel to wander by. It's like their version of a fast food drive through Next up, we venture into the open grasslands. Here, the python's camouflage comes into play. They blend in perfectly with the tall grass, making it easier for them to sneak up on their prey. Who knew that being a snake in the grass could be a good thing? From the dry grasslands let's dive into the wet and wild world of swamps. Pythons are great swimmers and they feel right at home in the water. In fact some pythons, like the green python, spend most of their time in water bodies, gliding through the water as effortlessly as they slither on land. And finally, we come to the rocky outcrops. It might seem like a hard place to live but for some pythons it's the perfect hideaway. Here they can curl up in crevices safe and sound from any predators that might be lurking around. These pythons are the true rock stars of the snake world. And here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that pythons can also live underground? Yes indeed. Some species prefer to live in burrows, where they can stay cool during the day and slither out to hunt at night. As we've seen, pythons are incredibly adaptable and can make themselves at home in a variety of habitats. From the treetops to the swampy waters and everywhere in between, these snakes know how to live life on the wild side. Home is where the heart is and for pythons that could be just about anywhere. What's on the menu for pythons, you might be surprised. Pythons you see are not picky eaters, they are carnivorous which means they enjoy a meaty meal. Their diet mainly consists of small mammals, birds, and even other reptiles. But what's truly fascinating is how they manage to swallow these creatures, some of which can be quite large. Picture this, a python slithering through the undergrowth, eyes sharp, senses heightened, on the hunt for its next meal. It could be a rat, a rabbit, or even a deer. Yes, you heard that right, a deer. 
pythons have been known to take on prey as large as deer or antelope. It's a bit like you trying to eat a whole watermelon in one gulp. How is this possible, you ask? Well, pythons have a little trick up their sleeve, or rather, in their jaws. Their jaw bones are not fused together like ours. Instead, they are connected with stretchy ligaments which allow their mouths to open wide and accommodate large prey. Pythons can actually eat animals up to five times bigger than their head. But the python's job doesn't end there. After a big meal it takes time for the python to digest its food. During this time, the python will find a warm and safe place to rest while its body works hard to break down the meal. This process can take several days or even a week depending on the size of the meal. And here's a fun fact, pythons have a slow metabolism, which means they don't need to eat very often. A python can go weeks or even months without eating after a big meal. It's a bit like having a Thanksgiving feast and then not needing to eat until Christmas. So next time you're having dinner, spare a thought for our python friends and their big appetites. It's quite a feat to eat a meal larger than your head, but for pythons, it's just another day in the life. From cute little hatchlings to giant adults, pythons have quite the life journey. Let's start with the beginning. Pythons start their journey as eggs, all snug and warm inside a nest. Their mothers, being the responsible snakes they are, wrap themselves around the eggs to protect them and keep them toasty. After around two to three months, these eggs hatch, and the world welcomes tiny baby pythons. These babies, often no more than two feet long, have a lot of growing to do. As these baby pythons grow, they shed their skin, a process known as molting. This isn't just a one-time thing, oh no, these snakes shed their skin multiple times as they grow, kind of like how you outgrow your old clothes. Each time they shed, they become a little bit bigger, a little bit stronger. Now, you might think that all pythons grow to be the size of those giant pythons you see on TV. But the truth is, not all pythons are created equal. Some species, like the ball python, only grow to be about 5 feet long, but others, like the reticulated python, can grow to be over 30 feet long. That's about as long as a school bus. And here's a fun fact for you. Some pythons can live for up to 30 years. That's right, 30 years. That's longer than a lot of household pets. These snakes are in it for the long haul, so if you're thinking about getting a python as a pet, remember it's a big commitment. So there you have it. Pythons, from hatching from an egg to growing into a massive snake, have an incredible life journey. They grow, they molt, they adapt, and they survive for decades. Whether they're just hatching or ruling the roost as a large adult, there's never a dull moment in the life of a python. Now, it's time to test your knowledge with our S Super Python Quiz. We've covered a lot of ground today, and it's time to see how much you've remembered. So, let's slither into question one. How many species of pythons are there? That's right, there are around 40 species of these fascinating creatures. Moving on to question 2, can you recall where pythons are not found? Yes, indeed, pythons are not found in Europe. And for our final question, what's something pythons can eat that's five times bigger than their head? You got it, pythons can eat prey up to five times the size of their head, thanks to their flexible jaws. Well done, snake scholars, you've shown you know your pythons inside and out. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.